They are calling those attacks sudden and unprovoked. Fox 5's Lauren Martinez is outside the Clark County Detention Center with more tonight on the suspect now being held inside. Lauren. Joe and Jacqueline, after reading this arrest report, it paints a picture of a very unstable man who lashed out at random bystanders. After the attack, police say he confessed to the killings. For the first time, the Las Vegas stabbing spree suspect, Yoni Barrios, appeared in court. Both of his hands were covered. This bail review was brief. The arrest report recounts statements from victims, witnesses, and Barrios himself. On Thursday morning, surveillance video showed Barrios approach a group of four strip performers dressed as showgirls. They were near the escalators on Las Vegas Boulevard near the main entrance to the win. One of the women said Barrios stated he was a chef. He was wearing a white chef coat with black pants. He asked if he could take a picture with them and with his knife. Barrios then pulled out a large knife from his black bag and showed everyone. The victim said none of the women knew what to do since it was such an odd request. The report then says Barrios stabbed Maris Di Giovanni and another showgirl. And he then ran southbound and stabbed Brent Hallett in the back. This map shows the route of the attack, starting at the win and turning on Sands Avenue, where Barrios eventually crossed the street, all while stabbing five more people in his path. He was arrested by Sands security officers and Metro officers. Police obtained a statement from Barrios on what happened. He said he arrived to Vegas from California about two days ago. He said he took a bus ride to the strip where people were making fun of him and he wasn't being treated like a human being. His synopsis mentions his encounter with the showgirls where he asked the women if he could take a photo with them. The report states Barrios thought the women were laughing at him and making fun of his clothing. Barrios said he became angry, stabbed one of the women in the chest. His statement went on to say he kept looking for groups of people so he could let the anger out. The arrest report says he was hoping officers would shoot him. On Friday, Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirmed Barrios is a Guatemalan national. He is in the U.S. illegally and has a criminal record out of California. It really doesn't affect it at all. Uh, whether he is a citizen or not, we're going to proceed based upon the evidence in this case. Uh, so that has no effect at all. I'm not thinking about deportation right now. I'm thinking about filing very serious charges based upon the evidence uh, and based upon what you all know occurred just yesterday. Police say they recovered a 12 inch length knife from the bushes. Barrios's next court appearance is scheduled for Tuesday. Reporting in front of Clark County Detention Center, Lauren Martinez, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.